Hello guys! Okay, I know I'm supposed to be sad, but I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not. There was one video that I had to bring down, but I stand for everything that I said in there. That's all I have to say. Okay? Okay. Alright, so let's get this started. Today I'm going to do some dupes, some prices, some did it work for me. Um, and I think there's one thing that I'm going to try right online. So, so if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia A. And if you're my loyal subscriber that you guys are so freaking amazing with me, like everyone has given me positive, positive um, feedback with my, not my last video, but the video before, or it was, was it my last video? I don't even know. Um, so I thank you guys so, 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 so much because I saw the love. I saw the love coming to me. Um, so yeah, there are people that love me and want to see me succeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okie dokie. So if you want to watch this video, I, I think that this video is going to be fun. Um, I actually thought that I was going to be like sad, but I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, I'm good. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long it's going to be, but you guys are going to be so happy because I found some dupes, one. Also, I am going to tell you guys about a couple things that I didn't like. Um, and then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try something on online and let you guys know. I was going to get a dupe for it, but then I went looking for it. I couldn't find it. And I figured, well, you know what? This is the cheaper route anyway. So if it works, then you guys go get it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start with the one that maybe you guys don't care too much about, but I thought it was cool. And I got this a long time ago, maybe like a year ago. And then I just saw it on my, in my drawer and I was like, Hey, and this is, um, the dual glue. Cause I love dual glue and it is, it has a one on it. Um, I used it today. Um, so it has a wand on it, and what you do, you put the duo, the the glue, like on your lash, um, not your, not like the falsies. I mean, not on yours, because I tried that before and it burned the shit out of my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so put it like on the lash strip. Um, it is a little drippy. The one that I pick is blue. I don't know if they, I forget if they had other colors. No, it says dark. So it is like a blue. I don't know if you guys can tell that it is a blue um, in person, but when it dries it dries dark like a black so no big deal i um, don't know if they have one for blondes but that wouldn't be a big i don't know they have a white one right i mean the duo has white and the grays and whatever i'm not really sure but um it's still it's still kicking like i've had it for a year i don't know why i never did like a like a review on it or anything like that um and i actually had it in there and didn't even look. So I do like it. Um, give it a try if you have issues with this type of duo. Oh, where is it? I don't know where it's at. Guys, you know, the regular one, the one that you squeeze out and it goes everywhere and then you just want to kill somebody. <laughs> not really. I don't want to kill nobody. Let's just not say that online. This duo, okay? Um, so, you know, this one's a pain in the hiney. I like it, but it is a pain in the hiney. It is. Um, but to be honest, this one comes out less liquidy than this one um this one's a little bit like thicker but when you like squeeze it out you know it's like comes out like and then <laughs> it's all over it's like you're wasting product that i'm not saying i'm not gonna buy it again because this is my favorite but you know i'm just letting you guys know if you have issues with one you know you do and you don't want to use it anymore try this one okay guys so next i think i found a dupe for my mac Prep, prep and prime, prep and prime. Let me see, prep and prime. My setting spray, guys. I think I, I have it on actually. And like I'm looking at it, and I'm like, darn, this looks like when it when it dries out, it, it looks like my prep and prime. And I paid. Hold on. How much is Mac prep and prime setting spray? Okay, so on here on the Mac website is twenty four dollars. And and the other day I was at uh, CVS, guys. I've been looking for this for quite some time. When it face first came out, I went to Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. Um, I did look online, but I'm like a person that if I want something right, right away, I don't want to order. Don't get me wrong. I order all the time. Actually, it gets me in trouble. Like, all the time. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> so, I bought this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, 16 hours. Oh, my God. Guys, I put it on, and it is literally a dupe for my MAC Prep and Prime. Now, I paid $9.99 for this, and it says um, that you can pay between you can pay between $9.68 and $9.99, so in that range. And then the MAC Prep and Prime is $24. Um, I don't know. The, the MAC Prep and Prime, I cannot say that. Every time I say it, I feel weird. The ounces are 3.4 U.S. florin ounces, and then, and then the Milani is 2.3. It's 2.3 florin ounces, um, 
so yeah clearly the Mac is bigger but guys if you run out of your Mac and you really don't have the money at the moment <laughs> like it's gonna happen for me <laughs> I'm gonna go get this because this is just amazing okay uh, amazing it's the same thing it's the same freaking thing same thing I mean it's a smaller you know bottle but you can see it's clear liquidy you know it's just not I wonder if this makes one yep it makes the little bubbles that this one makes you see how this one makes when you shake it even though we're not gonna shake it but that makes bubbles and that makes bubbles <laughs> yes um I'm going to show you guys something I showed you the other day. I said I wasn't really sure about it, and I tried it again today. Um, it's, I think it's called the Eloise. I get it all wrong. The Eloise brush. Um, you know, I hear some mixed reviews. It's supposed to be um, a dupe for the artist brush. Um, when I, you know, feel it compared to my real artist brush, not my dupe one, um, they don't feel the same to me. Like, the real dupe is more condensed, you know? Um, I love my real artist brush. I also like my dupe artist brush that actually they're very very close to that's why I call them the dupes or everybody else calls them the dupes where are my brushes sorry guys but you know I am washing a whole bunch of brushes um where are they I don't know this is the smaller one but even the bigger one they, they feel very much and do exactly what my real artist brush does now this Eloise I feel like I've been cheated okay <laughs> Um, I tried it on again today, or used it again today, with the foundation that I used with my Milani that's a little thicker, because when I used it, I used it with my Benefit uh, Hello Flawless that I absolutely love, but Hello Flawless is very liquidy, so I figured let me use it with my Milani. Milani is thicker because it's a combination, combination, a combination of concealer and foundation, so it's thicker, um, and so I used it with that, and when I was putting it on, it was still streaky, like I said from the beginning with the, or with, like I said the first time that I used it with my Benefit Flawless, it was streaky, and sure enough, this made my face with the foundation, even with the Milani, streaky. Now, um, so far, I'm not liking it um, at all. It kind of reminds me of the feeling of I don't want to say it's been a while since I've had a baby brush so but it, you know how a baby brush like a baby 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 brush it feels like that soft that you can literally like I probably can use this on a baby's hair it takes me back when my, my, my son was a baby and I bought the baby brush it kind of reminds me of that but don't quote me on it because it's been a while I'm probably gonna go buy a baby brush um, just to see to feel it um, and I'm gonna try this one more time with stick foundation and see what happens because I did the lighter you know, like a light foundation, the Benefit um, Flawless, and then I use a thicker one because it's a combination. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to try it again with um, a, cr a cream foundation. The only thing about cream foundation is that I don't use much of cream foundation. The only one that I really like is my MAC cream foundation, the stick one, I mean. So, but I'm still going to give it a try because maybe it does work and maybe it will work for someone that does like stick foundation. Yes? Okay. So. You know, you've heard me say that I am in love with my Brow Defender L'Oreal, okay? And it reminded me of the Anastasia Brow Definer or Brow Wiz, okay? So as you can see, the Brow Wiz is brand new. I have it brand new, okay? But I do have some stuff to say because I'm going to be honest. As much as I love the Brow Definer from L'Oreal, absolutely, it's been like my fourth time, fifth time that I've bought a new one. And when I used to buy my... Um, Anastasia, hmm, I didn't have to go that often to get a new liner. Not to say that I'm not going to use my brow definer because I love it. I do. But, okay. So, clearly, they are a dupe. Okay. Um, the only thing different with the packaging is that where that little spoolie is at, it has a clear so you can see that the spoolie is there. And then the Anastasia does not have like a clear where the spoolie is at so you kind of like open it and find it. Okay. All right. So, I want to push, oh, I'm going to push, no, I'm going to um, bring my Anastasia out, I hope I don't mess it up, all the way out, it doesn't go any further, alright, and then I'm going to put this one down real quick, and then I want to do the same thing with the brow, oh, can I even do that, hold on, oh yeah, alright, alright, so, let's see, okay, they're pretty close, that's that's weird okay I took both the um, the caps off so you can see the size they're pretty you know their size are pretty much the same okay do you see that now when it comes to the product the Anastasia it has a little bit more 
this one obviously is the Anastasia so it has a little bit more so huh, my what I think that's going on is one the um, Anastasia is less creamier I'm bringing it down and I'm gonna try it on my hand as well because this is the first time I'm doing this hold on so let's just bring it down um, and I'll tell you which one's creamier and I'll tell you which one's a little bit more or, or less cooler okay but like I said I still like my brow um, definer brow wit no brow define I still like the brow definer I will I won't stop buying this but I won't stop buying this either <laughs> okay all right so this is the Anastasia and I'm going to put it right on my hand so it looks like that okay and it's like I said it's less creamy you, like, you really gotta you know like you can't press too hard because it'll break obviously okay um, but it's like I guess drier and then well at least if that's what I'm kind of thinking and then yeah see the brow wiz actually the brow wiz is a little darker brown cool it's not cooler it's, it's warmer but not too much warm, warmer um, you see that this is uh, it's not too much warmer it's just darker to be honest I mean I could I got medium brown let me see I got medium brown in Anastasia I can always get dark brown and probably the same color as the um, L'Oreal um, so don't go by the color uh, even though they're, I mean, they're pretty cool they're both pretty cool they don't really have any red neither of them um, it's to me it's just a little bit creamier the L'Oreal and I think that's why I am wasting or I shouldn't say wasting because I'm putting it on my face but I go quickly and I have to go back to the store and get another one um, okay my darlings Clementown <laughs> what the hell all right so next thing I got um, the other day I was on Instagram I'm always on Instagram all right so um, I went into makeup review um, and I bought two of their highlights highlighters okay and I bought one color that is loose mineral highlighter what's the color um yikes this color is golden golden gold and then um this other color is pearl dust okay so today i have pearl dust on so i got to thinking <laughs> so professional this looks like my artist couture highlighter so let's give it a test or they're dupes are they dupes because let me tell you I wrote down the price the makeup review is $11.99 and the artist couture cu couture yeah the artist couture is $26.99 so let's see actually right now I'm doing a giveaway so if you didn't know about my giveaway go into my Instagram and then go find a picture of say, that is says giveaway okay you have one more day well actually two one two I don't know April 3rd um, so this one is called Illuminati everybody knows about Illuminati and then with my ashy ass hands or arms do you see do you see the artist do you see okay okay yeah I mean I have it the other one on okay so then I'm like well, that looks exactly like what I just bought all right so now I'm going to be using the makeup review and it is smaller but you know how highlights last forever or you want to go to an, the, to buy another freaking highlighter so you know we don't need to get it too big um, and then I put it on the cap and I'm just gonna tap on down. Where, where did I put it at? Oh, here we go. Okay. Is that not the same? Now, I'm gonna tell you the truth. The um, artist has a little bit of a more a golden like popping out and then the uh, then the pearl dust has a little bit more a lighter color but on camera they look exactly the same but my point of this is they have more colors actually I mean like you know you guys know that makeup revenue has more colors so you could get an exact dupe but my point is that they, they they're the same when it comes to consistency even like a little bit of like I don't want to say I don't want to say glitter because then it scares you guys away it doesn't have much glitter I don't like glitter as a highlighter but it does have a little bit of sparkles or something and the artist couture does as well like they both like sparkle a little bit um, they have like little specks of like I don't know glitter but not much glitter I don't have to spin it so yeah all right guys so next is what I told you guys that I was gonna do online and I got on um, the Milani keep it clean long wear lip color removal 
and I said I was going to find a dupe for it. Unfortunately, when I went to um, Ulta and Sephora, um, I couldn't find the their their um, re like lip remover. I don't know if it's a Smashbox or Too Faced. I'm not really sure. Um, I forget. But so I figured, why not just show you if it does work? Like if it does remove my liquid lipstick. Then why would you want to go and buy the Smashbox or Too Faced? I'm not sure which one's which. I think it's Smashbox, to be honest. I think I said Too Faced in my last video or the year video before, but so if this works, then you can get this. Or I'm gonna tell you guys if the, if you don't like using or don't, you don't have you don't have to buy this. Like I like um, olive oil to remove my lipsticks. Mm -hmm. But just saying, if you don't, you're not like a, a, a all natural taking you know going downstairs, getting going to the kitchen, getting olive oil to remove your lipstick. That's fine. So I'm gonna check if this works or not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got a tissue. And oops. <laughs> All right, so it feels like silicone, -y, like it has a little bit of oil on it. That's why I said just get olive oil and remove your lipstick. It doesn't come out. And I'm gonna put my lips, and I'm gonna put my lips on. It has like a sweet taste to it. My lips are so dry. Okay, so it worked. Now, I didn't use a dark liquid lipstick. I will let you guys know if it works for a dark liquid lipstick, okay guys? But for a light one, I mean, it took, obviously it took it off. I'm gonna put my liquid lipstick back on because I don't want to, um, but it did. Feels good actually. Alright guys, so that is it for my video. If you guys enjoyed it, please thumbs it up, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber.